I can't keep doing that, okay? This game is just so addicting. Why are screens so addicting? I played Sims for like six hours. I need to stop. Getting dressed can do numbers for you. It sounds so simple. I just need to watch one more episode. I don't know where this is coming from, y'all, but I'm gonna ride this wave. that you have the same one it's this little guy and this one and this one <laughs> you've guessed it the issue here are screens now there are several reasons why someone may stare at their screen for hours at a time they're addicting but in my specific case, I started to realize that my screen time has skyrocketed lately and I knew something had to give when I paused and noticed I was using three screens simultaneously. One for responding to text messages, one for binge watching Criminal Minds, and one for playing The Sims. Now do I think that screens are the bane of our society? No. I think they can be great sources for fun, information, and decompressing. But the key word here is moderation and I found myself spending 8 plus hours in front of a screen. No, I can't keep doing that, okay? So, I took 5 days and told myself that I'm going to have intentional no screen time every day. It wasn't super planned out. Um, like for the first day I said I'm just going to set my timer for an hour and clean my room. Let's see how that panned out. I'm checking and there are four episodes of Crime Junkies that I have not listened to. Wow, okay, I don't know what I've been doing with my time. But, um, okay, I'm at a time in the podcast. I'm gonna watch, listen to Crime Junkie. The last step I'm gonna do I still let my water bottle in that, I promise. We're gonna get into cleaning my room, I promise. We're gonna clean my room. We're gonna clean it. Okay, all right, you caught me, you caught me. How about we actually get into what we're supposed to be doing today, okay? This game is just so addicting. Why are screens so addicting? As soon as I step off the elevator, something seems weird to me. Off kilter or unaligned. Like a friend forcing a smile when she's secretly livid with you. Staring through the large glass doors at the end of the corridor, I realize that it's dark inside the office and that no one else is here yet. That must be what's throwing me off. I pull my wrist through the sleeve of my trench coat and check my watch. It's 8.05. For the first time since I've been at the company, I've beaten everyone in. My gaze runs up my sleeve, and I suddenly notice how wet I am. What had felt like a drizzle outside was clearly heavier rain than that, and my coat soaked. Okay, I did it. I did no screen time for an hour. Your girl's eyes are rejuvenated, maximized. I can see the world. I don't have a headache. Well, that's not true. I definitely still do have a headache. In that hour, I was able to put up all the clothes, which is a big deal. The room is still in a slight disarray.
So today is day two of a challenge that I really didn't intend on being a challenge. I thought yesterday that I was going to be able to take an hour away from a screen and clean my room and things would be great. But what ended up happening was I completely did the hour and cleaned like a portion of my room like I put all my clothes up but there's still parts of my room that need to be loved on and um, instead of doing that I played sims for like six hours after dinner um, until like 2 a.m. so that's fun um, but now I'm just like in this mood where I'm like I need to stop like it's 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 wild right because I'm thinking about times where like my mom literally used to sit me and my siblings down and have like no technology days where we would just like not be I don't I don't even think we had phones then like we would not have access to a TV or a computer we would just literally like have to play with each other and read books and now all of a sudden as an adult as a 28 year old I'm sitting here acting as if I cannot be without a phone or a screen and it's like mind-boggling to me it's it's bothersome it's really bothersome i want to do more with my life like i want to do more with my life i want to read books i want to make zines i want to work on my small business like i want to work on myself and like take hot bubble baths and just like be this like idealized version of myself that i know i can be so today we are taking two hours away from the screen okay maybe i stayed in a hotel do you know if i took a bag i assumed you did but I haven't taken a look in your closet. But I don't think you were at a hotel. I checked the credit card statement on Wednesday afternoon. Like I said, I wasn't worried at that point. But of course I wanted to know where you were. That's two hours today. And I reached my goal, which I feel amazing about. Like, I'm really enjoying this. I think The way to decrease screen time is to bury yourself in activities that you wholeheartedly like to do. It sounds so simple, but for whatever reason, like when I'm in the thick of it, when I'm in the thick of like watching TV or playing Sims, it's like, oh wait, like I just need to watch one more episode or I just need to like finish this like one milestone or you know like when you're playing a game or something I just have to get beat this level like blah 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 it's like so easy to just get caught up in like screen time but once I like shift out of that and I'm like no I'm gonna obsess over this weaving project or no I'm gonna obsess over this essay like it's so it's just so much easier to get involved in like what you're doing at that moment so maybe if you just start off with no screen time at all you won't be feeling miserable after six hours of looking at a screen mm, interesting okay this is what i'm having for dinner it is tilapia kale salad and potatoes um it's raining i'm about to watch a little bit of tv while I eat and then get back to weaving. Let's go ahead and taste this slob yet. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna enjoy dinner while watching a little bit of Criminal Minds. Got away in Little Rock is because I let myself get arrested. And you only for all the years you stayed away. She helped him kill a couple out of Maryland. One of the things that I want to focus on today is actually getting dressed for the day. I feel like getting dressed would make me feel more productive and hopefully get me away from my bed. Because I feel like 
once I'm in my bed that it's so much easier for me to like look at a screen and just get on the phone and lounge there for hours and look at TV and play video games and basically my bed is where I do a lot of downtime and screen time so if I get dressed today then I am more opted to go to my um, office and my desk and of course like a lot of the work that I do does involve a screen so it's not necessarily me getting less screen time but it is a way for me to not anchor myself to the bed and do mindless screen time like I have been doing so I'm hoping that getting dressed today will make me feel more productive and ready to take on the day and also prompt me to not have as much screen time that's kind of like the the hypothesis and we're gonna experiment to see like what actually goes down today okay so this is the fit I feel very cute but let me um, do something with my hair and then I'll feel even cuter I'll be right back okay so I, I just put this like nice little green scarf on my head and I'm doing the fro look at these earrings that my sister made for me they're so cute she made them for my birthday dragonflies are like my favorite ever Okay, I have been looking at the screen for a little bit too long and I feel like I just need a break. I need to close the computer and like not think about work for a little bit. So I'm going to listen to another podcast and just do an hour of weaving um, and maybe sit in this like little sunlight corner that I have in my office. It's really nice so before I do that I probably will just like lay for a little bit and then get into some weaving and then get into some writing because I want to write I'm feeling inspired whenever I light a candle I want to write and so that's what I'm in the mood for so that's what I'm gonna do okay so let's do that <laughs> Okay. <sighs> let's breathe oh wait there's also something that I wanted to say I was thinking about this earlier it may seem silly to get dressed up and be in your house all day and have no one witness your amazing outfit and just like get dressed for yourself but I was also thinking that it's also silly and maybe even sillier to have like your favorite pieces of clothes collecting dust in your wardrobe and not wearing them like especially if they make you feel good and make you feel prepared and are ready and like ready to arrive for the day like literally just getting dressed for myself like I'm like I'm gonna do it I'm not gonna be in my bed all day I'm gonna do something with myself and be creative and be productive and be happy and like not slum away the day but be more intentional and like that's all coming from like getting dressed okay like getting dressed can do numbers for you so I'm gonna bask in that literally bask in the sunlight Rotten hail was <gasps> delivered. Oh, Ash got us Rotten some uniforms hail. to wear. Rotten hail sweatshirts for the Vanderpump Rules reunion part two. Mm -hmm. Part two. Um, and then I ordered John and Drew number one guy in the group because they're tied, obviously. <laughs> but th those didn't come yet. Oh, I know. Maybe they'll come in time. I think they're going to. I feel it. And then what? Oh, I I watched the summer house. Good morning. 
what's up okay so today is day four of this little experiment challenge situation and I woke up maybe 20 30 minutes ago um, answered some text messages made a phone call and played games for maybe like five minutes or less like just to check in and get the next like step going for this video game that I'm playing um, but I actually don't have a desire to like be on my phone right now like don't really care about scrolling through social media or being like on my computer watching TV or playing video games or even my iPad so what I'm gonna do today I don't know where this is coming from y'all but I'm gonna ride this wave for as long as possible um for sure <laughs> so i'm going to do a little bit of reading this is the book that i'm currently reading it's called the unfortunates and i really like how this book is set up it's not like a typical book which i always love so it has like okay it's a it's a story about a girl in college and she's dealing with depression and it's it has like different like diagrams in it um and like quizzes or things like that and like like the graphic design in this book is really amazing also the voice is so strong here like she's at a party right now in the in the part that i'm in and she says something like oh it was so good where is it where is it oh here you go she said um like again she's at a party right and she says i realized that instead of a soiree this is a seance of dead personalities with the medium of liquor that's so good Okay, cool. So I just finished reading for today. I'm at page 103 and this has about 300 pages in it. So I am almost done. This book is so like interesting. It's, <laughs> it's bringing up a lot of thoughts and I might Tell you guys a little bit more about it but highly recommend this book
Okay, so that concludes this no screen time experiment challenge whatever you want to call it as you saw in the beginning i was very resistant and very like procrastinating um which made me have like no faith in myself that i can keep this going for five days but as time went on i spent less and less time on my screen and be began to feel pretty detached by the end of it i don't know where that came from but go me the day after the challenge, I spent a majority of the day finishing up this book, The Unfortunates, and it brought up a lot of fond college memories, but it also made me wish that I kept a journal in college and talked more to my peers about the symptoms of depression. I think that talking through them makes the symptoms feel less isolating and in turn makes you feel better. And although parts of this book were very difficult to read, it was comforting having that reminder in a relatable voice and story. In the spirit of wanting to make no screen time a daily practice, I began to wonder, how can I curb my screen time? And I came up with four solutions. Once I get into a screen, it is so hard for me to pull away. So I figured maybe if I didn't reach for my phone as soon as I woke up in the morning, it'd be a lot easier for me to start my day with reading or writing or doing my weaving project. So number one, I think I'm going to not use my phone until a specific like time of day. Which brings me to my second solution, creating a schedule for myself and making sure that I pencil in time to be on my screen and to not be on my screen. The third thing that I came up with is simply having goals for myself. Activities that I want to accomplish, books that I want to read that don't incorporate no screen time. And the more that I accomplish those goals, maybe I can reward myself with some screen time, but also I'll just feel like I'm doing something that is fulfilling and something that I absolutely want to do. And then it's just bringing me happiness all together, all around. And finally, number four, I thought it was really interesting how I could have a timer for myself for no screen time and then just let the day go rampant with screen time, you know, for the rest of the day. And so I thought maybe if I put timers for my screen time, I could then limit myself. So I'm going to try to do that in the upcoming weeks and see how that goes. Well, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.